Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Bernie here, bringing you another video here in the charge, giving the latest NBA news and rumors and also basketball opinions. And before we get started on to today's topic, talking about Lakerland and the situation that's going on there, go and hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Also, go and check out the telenovela series that is the Spurs and Kawhi Leonard. That video is up. We talk about how Kawhi Leonard was hiding from the San Antonio Spurs. The classic relationship, will they get back together, won't they get back together? Find out on the next episode. But right now, like I said, we got to talk about this Lakers situation. And you know, all the reports about Lonzo Ball being traded, he could be going to the Suns, he could be going to the Spurs. The Lonzo Ball is not a trade piece anymore. There's a lot of situation that's going on with him, but Brian Windhorst has cleared it up. He says that LeBron James is reportedly high on Lonzo Ball. And this is the quote that uh, Brian Windhorst had to say. I've been assured that Lonzo, the LeBron is high on Lonzo. Likes him, said Brian Windhorst. If Lonzo is the difference between getting Kawhi Leonard or not, Clearly, the Lakers would trade him. And this is obviously the situation that's going to be happening. Kawhi Leonard is just that valuable of a player that obviously you would trade Lonzo. You would trade all of the assets for him. Maybe not the King's Ransom that they want, like the two first-round picks, Josh Hart, Kuzma, and Ingram. But you would trade a guy like Lonzo Ball because it would make your team a lot better. But I'm glad that LeBron James has a very high opinion of Lonzo Ball because I think Lonzo Ball can add something to a team. I just think his dad's antics and his brother's antics and the whole... The Bar Ball Show has just taken away all his basketball uh, shine and it's just put it on towards the negative part of his life and that is not really negative but really more attracting than really his game than his play is of course his dad's antics. The you know BBB water, the BBB socks, I mean the slides, the shoes, the TV deal, Lithuania, all this other stuff. It's just been too much for Lonzo Ball to overcome because his gameplay has not really outshined what his dad has been saying obviously he's a great player i still think he'll be a jason kidd like player not a superstar but a star a solid role player but his dad's antics are going to cost him a lot of money not only for his bbb brand but also a contract as well because if we look at it lonzo is replaceable you can get many guys like him there's obviously going to be more and more players coming into this league that could eventually take lonzo's place so in order to keep his place, he has to keep a low profile, and obviously the diss track didn't help when he went against Kyle Kuzma. I still think that the Lakers are better with Lonzo Ball and LeBron James together. Take the pressure off LeBron James to carry up the ball. The only thing is, will Ingram take that extra step to become that 20-point-per-game scorer that will kind of help LeBron James in the offensive wise, and then you have Kuzma doing all the dirty work, which is great. I love that Kuzma is there. And I also like that Kuzma didn't respond to Lonzo Ball's diss track. I know I'm going in some weird tangent of different things, but speaking of Lo Lonzo Ball and the Kuzma thing, I'm hoping that their relationship is actually really good. I haven't heard anything on Instagram or seen anything on Twitter or anything like that. So if you guys have seen anything where they're kind of jokingly still friends and all that stuff, put it in the comments down below. I'd like to see that because right now I'm getting this weird vibe that these guys have, are really distant from each other. So it'd be interesting to see if they can really mend this relationship. But going back to the Lonzo Ball, LeBron James thing, obviously these two guys would be perfect together. I hope that they stay together. But, you know, if it's the difference between Kawhi Leonard or another superstar, I'm sorry, you have to trade him. You have to trade him. I understand that Lonzo Ball is a great player, but like I said, he's easily replaceable as the years to come. And I want to know your guys' opinion on this whole Lonzo Ball thing. Do you think he should stay in LA or do you think that he'll get traded? And what's your opinion on the whole LeVar Ball situation? Obviously, I'm a big fan of the JBA and what it's trying to do. I'm a fan of, you know, trying to make a brand for yourself because that's what we're trying to do here on our Fusion Corp channel as well. But sometimes if your antics are more and above what you're trying to sell, then people aren't going to buy into it. The stay in your lane stuff is fine, but then the Lithuania, the water, the whole LeBron James talking about the Lakers, you know, need to fire Luke Walton. It's just stick to the business that you're at. Stick to caring about LiAngelo and LaMelo as you're trying to get both of them into the NBA and let Lonzo worry about his Laker ball play. Because right now, I've only heard anything from LeVar, not much from Lonzo, which is kind of a good thing, but also a bad thing because I would love to hear it more from Lonzo than I would LeVar because what it tells me is that LeVar has more control over his kids than he does over, than Le Lonzo has over himself. And I want Lonzo to be his own man and tell his dad, hey, look, you need to chill a little bit. We need to get this working and obviously you know there's rumors about Lonzo Ball in his camp leaking the injury so that way he won't get traded a little bit of a sneaky move LeVar Ball I see what you're doing there but even if he's gonna get healthy in a month or two that doesn't not gonna stop the fact that he could get traded but you have to do a better job of not being so 
animated in terms of being theatrical about stuff that doesn't concern you, especially when it comes to Magic and the Lakers and what they're trying to do. The other stuff I'm fine with, the TV show is fine, but like I said, leave the basketball operation stuff for the Lakers to the Lakers. Anyway, guys, this is your boyfriend here on The Charge, giving the latest NBA news and rumors and also basketball opinions. Like I said, guys, leave in the comments down below what you guys think of this story about LeBron James being high on Lonzo Ball. Tell me what you would do with Lonzo Ball if you were the GM of the Lakers. Right now, guys, I'm going to sign out. Check out our other videos. Hit that subscribe button, and I'll catch you later. Peace.